What if I tell you Bill Gates and Magnus Carlsen faced off each other on a chessboard? Yep, you heard that right. They both played a match in 2014 during an interview in London where the host offered them for a quick match and they both accepted. Here, Bill Gates got the white pieces and Magnus was playing as black. Magnus, being generous there, just offered Bill Gates that he will play with 30 seconds on the clock and Bill Gates can take as much as time he wants to. So before we start off with the game, I would request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily. So yeah, let's start off with this interesting game where Bill Gates started with E4. Probably the best move to start off with, uh, a good opening, I would say. And Magnus responds with C knight to C6, the Nimzovich defense. Here, Bill Gates responds with knight to f3, developing his pieces. And Magnus plays d5. Now, that was a strange move to start off with because he's just offering a free pawn. Uh, but his idea was after he takes, uh, Magnus takes back with the queen and his queen comes out early into the game. And because he had 30 seconds on the clock, he has to take out his pieces as fast as possible. So let's go back to the game where instead of taking on the pawn, uh, Bill Gates developed his bishop on d3. Now, that's not a good square for the bishop, ideally. He could have pinned the knight, but that's a story for another day. We are just trying to enjoy this game and go through it quickly. So, here Magnus responds with knight to f6, not capturing the pawn, still letting Bill Gates capture it, because after he takes, his queen comes out. That was the whole plan, and he managed to do it. Here, uh, Bill Gates plays a knight to uh, b3, uh, to c3, attacking the queen with a tempo. Always a good thing when you are developing pieces with a tempo in the game. Here, Magnus brings his queen to h5. Now, his idea was simple. He will try to go for some tactics on the king side. If Bill Gates cap castles to the king side, that's what happens in the game. Uh, he castles and now... Magnus brings his bishop into the picture. Now, his idea is pretty simple. He's applying some extra pressure on the knight on f3 with a couple of his pieces, which is the queen and the bishop. Here, the ideal move should be bishop to e2, defending the knight, giving some extra protect protection to the knight. But here, uh, Bill Gates tries to kick away the bishop by moving pawn to h3. Now, ideally, Magnus would take this knight in, a, in any kind of a game, but... Here he decides to bring on the knight because he's just trying to play on tactics. He knows that Bill Gates uh, will probably not defeat him uh, early in the game for sure. So he can just probably go through it as soon as possible. Uh, and here uh, he gives a bishop and which uh, Bill Gates obliges. Magnus takes back with the knight with the idea of threatening checkmate on h2 after he removes the knight from f3, which is a defender. But instead of uh, creating some space for the king, Bill Gates goes for the knight, uh, sees the free knight, so he just tried to take it. It was, wasn't even a free knight, actually. It was defended with the knight there. But of course, yeah, if knight takes, the queen takes back. But that's, again, a story which is not going to happen because it was mate and one from there. Magnus plays queen to h2, and the game finishes on the knight move. It took 12 seconds uh, for the world champion to defeat uh, the founder of Microsoft. And yep, it was an interesting game. Both had laughters and a good time. So I hope you liked the video. It was an interesting one. Uh, if you want to watch some interesting chess videos and learn chess simultaneously, do come back to the channel, subscribe it, press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. Thanks for watching and keep sharing. Take care. Bye-bye.